Terry Johnson, one of the co-creators of The Quirkles. And today I'm here with another young scientist. What's your name? Rowan. Rowan. And what grade are you in, Rowan? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. I can tell you're in kindergarten because you look like you're in kindergarten. And I'm excited to have Rowan here with us today. Well, most of you are out of school or you will be very soon. But that doesn't mean science has to stop. We are going to show you today how to integrate Gilbert Gas and Kitchen Chemistry Cal in some fun science activities, whether you're in summer school or at home. Rowan, do you like science? Yes. Yes, and do you like things that get ooey gooey and explode? Yes. Do you like science that you can eat? Yes. Oh, that's good because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about the states of matter, a solid, liquid, and gas. And look, we just happen to have some ice cream. Yummy, Rowan. Pick up your ice cream here. Let's take off our lid and let's see. Hmm, turn yours over, Rowan. Is your ice cream a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Does this, does the, so, does the ice cream move? No, it's a solid, isn't it? It probably will be a liquid soon if we let it melt. So let's take our ice cream and can we kind of dip it into our bowl here? Because we're going to demonstrate how we can have a solid liquid and gas by making root beer floats. Nothing is better than a root beer float in a hot, on a hot summer day. We need a gas. Now, we have our solid, and if it melts, it will turn into a liquid, but we need a gas. Where would we get a gas? I From want. root beer. From root beer? You mean root beer has carbon dioxide gas in it? Are you sure? You're sure? Let's see, hmm, how would I determine if there is carbon dioxide in root beer? By turning the lid. Turning the lid and you think you'll hear something? Let's see, now we turn it, let's see. What do you hear? Gas. You hear the gas, and where did the gas go? Where is out. it? It goes out into the air, doesn't it? It does, but there's still bubbles there? There are. So we're going to put root beer in our ice cream and we will have a solid liquid and gas. We'll be eating our states of matter. Yum, and it will never have tasted so good. Boy, eating science sometimes sure is fun. Now normally we don't eat our science, but today, mmm, we get to eat our science. I wonder if we still have gas in the root beer. You think we do? Hmm, I wonder if we do. I wonder how we could tell if we still have gas in the root beer. Bubbles. The bubbles, you're right, I still see bubbles. Well, we're going to do some science to see if we can get the carbon dioxide to release. And you know what helps carbon dioxide release? Salt. We're gonna put salt in the balloon. Can you hold the balloon a little bit like that? And just hold it open a little bit. And I'm not gonna be exact because we're doing an activity here, not an experiment. If you were doing an experiment, you would need to put an exact amount. Now, we're gonna take our balloon and we're gonna put it over the mouth of our root beer bottle. And on the count of three, Rowan, I want you to lift up the balloon and see what happens. What do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna blow up. You think it's gonna blow up? Let's see if you're right. On the count of three. One, two, three. Lift it up, Rowan. Lift it up and see what happens. See if you can hold it with both hands. Can you use both hands to hold it? And see if the salt will fall down into it. Ah, there we go, I think we, oh, there we go. Hold on to it, hold on to it. Ah, very, oh, do you hear it? Oh my goodness, what's happening? It's blowing. It is, but Rowan, you know what's interesting? The root beer, it's gonna flow back down into the bottle, but the balloon is going to stay inflated because the gas, the carbon dioxide, has inflated the balloon, hasn't it? It sure has. You did a great job, Rowan. We're gonna put that right here. Oh, it's kind of tilting, isn't it? Rowan, 
You did a great job. Thank you for visiting me today. You're welcome. And for more experiments, check out our YouTube videos at youtube.com or our Quirkles website, www.quirkles.com. Thank you for joining us. Say goodbye, Rowan. Goodbye. Goodbye.